Okay, let's grab our jacket. And let's grab our cellular device. I've got my tea and I'm ready to get started. <laughs> hey guys, let's talk about seasonal work. Okay, seasonal work is where you work at a place for a season, a period of time. Um, right now I'm working for the YMCA of the Rocky Mountains and we work in four month or eight month contracts. So is seasonal work right for you? Should you do seasonal work? Yes. I think that for a lot of people, seasonal work's a really good idea. It would be a great way to kickstart your travels. Um, so people who do seasonal work are people who have just graduated high school, people who have um, graduated college and they're not exactly sure where they want to go in their career yet, people who want to be in the outdoors. We have a lot of volunteers here who work for um, three days a week and they get room and board. So it's like they're retired, they have all the time and they want to spend a holiday um, low budget, actually no budget really. I mean, you have to pay for your gap. We're, we'll go over all. Okay, so seasonal work. Does everybody know what it is now? Yes. And when you kind of think about seasonal work, you're probably thinking working at a ski lodge. And yes, that is seasonal work. You work during the winter season. Maybe lifeguarding at the beach is seasonal work. But I'm talking about the kind of seasonal work where you like have this whole community. Everybody here at the YMCA is staying in staff lodging that and that creates a really great community so let's start talking about the pros and the cons of seasonal work and if it's right for you the pros I would say that my number one like pro okay there's two so working in a beautiful place and second is that you have this community as a solo traveler i don't always have a community and and i feel like at sometimes i'm just meeting people one off and things like this this is a way for me to see the same people every day have friends um that you know everybody lives there it's really cool um so another pro is that housing and food is included. You don't have many expenses while you're here. Um, what else is a pro? So the place that you work at usually has a lot of perks. If you're doing a ski season, you get to ski. Usually um, a lot of the time and you get, I think you get the rental gear for free. Here at the YMCA, some of the pros for me are guided hikes, archery if I want to do that, rock climbing, I can go snowboarding a few times a, a season. Um, I am five minutes from the Rocky Mountain National Park, room and board is included, mountain biking is included, roller skating, we've got foosball tables and ping pong tables and um, just a lot of fun activities and I think that a lot of people honestly do seasonal work for um, to enjoy having people to hang out with I think it's a big part of the community and it's kind of like something that you'll never do like you you, you will how many times do you get to experience living so close um, to a national park five minutes. It's crazy. Let's talk about the cons of seasonal work. Um, why, why you wouldn't want to do seasonal work or the, so, um, a con for me at the beginning was that I had three roommates. So two bunk beds in this tiny room and I was not into it. After four requests, I finally got moved and I don't have a roommate. Um, I could possibly have one, but I don't think I will. 
Another con is that, let's see, what else are the cons? Oh, the pay. The pay is low. And I have, um, I also teach English online and sometimes freelance projects come in for me at, because I do graphic design and illustration. If you're ever watching this, check out my portfolio. I'm really proud of it. Um, but yeah, so seasonal work, um, the, the pay is kind of low, but on the other side, you don't have any expenses. So if you pick up a little extra work, you can kind of make up for it and save a lot of money. And um, maybe you can't get online work. That's okay. There are plenty of restaurants in town that would take work. Boulder is an hour away. And maybe you, um, like I've been talking to this artist about helping her paint her ceramics. Um, and so that would be a job where I'd take the product back with me to my um, lodge and paint. Um, so another con is, this could be a con or it could be a pro, it depends on who you are, um, is that there's gonna be people around like you're gonna see the same people and you're gonna live in like a small town. So sometimes, not, not if you're at a ski resort, but that's just something you need to look at. Like if you know that you kind of need a little bit of city and stuff, maybe don't go to a national park where it takes a few hours to get anywhere. Um, and it, like the nearest Walmart and Target here is an hour away. So that's kind of up to you if that's something that you um, really enjoy or not. Um, another, so I've talked about the pay being low. What's another con? Oh, okay, so here at the YMCA, the food, so you can only eat when the kitchen is open and sometimes you're hungry at other times. Hey guys, it's been a few days. I was editing the video from the other day and realized that I didn't really finish this video too well. So I'm, I think that's all the cons that I need to talk about. Um, you can find all these jobs at coolworks.com. I'm going to make an entire video where we talk about the website, what's on the website. So stay tuned next week for that video. Um, but for now... Happy hiking, happy days, whatever you do. I am working on a PDF download activity workbook for kids that I'm super excited about starting. Um, and so my days have been pretty exciting.